Okay, so I've been running a lot of errands today, but I did want to take a few minutes and look at what I need to do for this throw out bearing. So basically, I just need to make this longer, you know, so I'm gonna shim it out so that it will reach the fingers of the pressure plate. So what I did was I took measurements without the clutch being pressed and then with the clutch arm all the way down. And then I did the same thing on this transmission, which I know worked and uh, gave the measurements that we needed. And then I wrote it all down here. And basically this difference between those two lines right there, I don't know if this thing will focus right for me, but for reference, here's my thumbnail. That's how much closer between those two lines right there. That's how much closer the throw out bearing needs to be to the pressure plate. So I just need to find some piece of pipe or something to shim it closer and that should work. Okay, so what I need to do is make this longer, right? So what I've done is use this press that I have here and I put the bearing in there like that and press this middle part out. So now that I've got it out and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about what I can do and honestly I'm thinking that I'm just going to put it on here like this and press it down to the exact length that I need and then I'm going to weld it together at the exact length that it needs to be and I'm going to drill new holes um, a little bit higher um, you know just above this where my thumb is right here for the springs to go in that retain the bearing yeah and that should give me what I need so wish me luck and if you don't have a press at home um, I'm sure you could get it out with a hammer and the right size socket but I just haven't have a press in here so wish me luck all right, so I got it pressed down to the exact measurement that I calculated it needed. The nice thing about this is there's these little holes where the balls are supposed to go, and it gives you nice places for spot welds, um, even though that's not a nice spot weld. That one's a little better, maybe. Anyways, though, I'm gonna weld in all of those, and then weld a little bit at the rim here, and that should provide enough support. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of pressure against it, but. Those should hold, brush them down and spray some paint on them just to prevent any rust. And then we'll throw it in and see how it feels. Okay, so this is turning out to be a, just a little trickier than I originally thought. I went to slide it on the shaft at the transmission and basically it would get about that far and stop. And it was because the old beads that are supposed to poke through these holes that we used to, uh, to spot weld, the old beads were trapped in the middle now and so they were making it bulge a little bit. So basically I just took a socket that was the exact right size and just whacked it on there and then beat it back out. Now it slides on the shaft perfectly in the transmission so that's all good. But now I need to cut out these two little rectangles and weld them on top right here and right there so that it seats up against the clutch fork in the right spot. So yeah. All right, got it all done. Slides very smoothly. It's not clipped yet, which is why I didn't slide back with the fork, but here's the tabs welded on. I'm going to paint it. I'm not going to worry about making it look pretty because nobody's ever going to see it. But I took measurements and it measures up exactly what the measurements were for the front wheel drive transmission, um, which worked perfectly. So I have faith that it's going to work. So it's getting pretty late. I'm just going to take it out, throw a coat of paint on it, and call it a night. And tomorrow we'll throw it in, throw the transmission on, put it back in the truck, and see how she feels. And I will put my measurements in the description just in case anybody else is doing this and has the same problem. So luckily I had access to the front wheel drive transmission to even take the measurements I needed. This would be extremely time consuming and difficult without the measurements. So I'll put those in the description for you guys. All right, here's the finished product. I just threw some engine enamel that I had left over from painting calipers on it um, just in case it gets hot and I don't want any rust going on in this thing. So I'm going to throw it in the transmission and throw that on the engine and put the engine in the truck. 
So installing a throw up marion is super easy. Um, you just be sure you grease the middle of it and then there's just these two retaining clips right there that poke into the holes on the clutch fork. One on each side and then just check the action of it and make sure that make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to. And that is what it's supposed to do. So I'll throw it in. So the clutch arm definitely feels better. You know, it's hitting the pressure plate right here before it went all the way to the bell housing without hitting it. So I'm gonna throw it in the truck and try clutching and switching gears um, to make sure that it's working and disengaging properly before I connect everything again. Okay, so the engine and transmission are in. The clutch cable is connected. When I press on it, it feels normal. It feels normal and I can shift. Um, strangely enough, I can shift without my foot on the clutch, so there may need to be some cable shimming, but that shouldn't be a big problem. So yeah, pretty stoked.